US seed manufacturer Monsanto, now a unit of Germany's Bayer, launched the world's first genetically modified crop in 1996. Since then, about 30 countries have taken to biotech crops including soybean, corn, tomato, squash, papaya, cotton, maize and sugar beet. India first allowed GM cultivation with Monsanto's lab-altered cotton in 2002. The move helped transform India into the world's second largest cotton producer and exporter after China. In the two decades since then, India has not approved any transgenic crop. In 2009, genetically modified Bt brinjal was cleared for general cultivation by India's biotech regulator Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee or GEAC after years of multi-location field trials. BT Brinjal was developed by Maharashtra Hybrid Seeds Company under license from Monsanto, but its seeds were not distributed to the farmers officially due to the indefinite moratorium put on its cultivation by the then Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh following opposition from activists and some farmers. India's neighbour Bangladesh allowed commercial cultivation of BT Brinjal in 2013. The GEAC under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has now paved the way for the commercialization of the country's first GM food crop. The government panel has granted environmental clearance for indigenously developed GM mustard seed variety DMH11, which has been shown to deliver 30% higher yields than existing varieties. In 2017, a similar approval had to be recalled in the face of opposition from activists across the political spectrum. Mustard is cultivated by around 6 million farmers in around 6.5 to 7 million hectares of land across the states of Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab and Madhya Pradesh. Deepak Pental, a geneticist and former vice-chancellor of Delhi University, developed the seeds along with his team in an over-decade-long effort. Calling the approval a landmark development, Pental said farmers can get hold of GM mustard hybrids in the next two years if all the steps from here fall in place. To grow the seeds commercially, a final approval is still required from the ministry. While giving the nod, the GEAC has said that field demonstration studies on the impact of the mustard variety on honeybees and other pollinators will have to be conducted under the supervision of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research within two years. Environmental activists and the Swadeshi Jagran Manch, an affiliate of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, have opposed GEAC's clearance and urged the government to not give a final nod. Ashwini Mahajan, co-convener of Swadeshi Jagran Manch, termed the mustard variety extremely dangerous to public health and farmers. So GM mustard uh, was given a green signal initially in 2017. And that, at that time itself, there were huge protests. And uh, there were also many state governments which didn't even allow field trials to take place. So we are talking about a GMO which has not been tested in the major mustard growing states of the country to begin with. And whatever got tested, tested uh, got tested very inadequately not on all biosafety parameters and uh, most tests were done by the crop developer itself and importantly uh, we are talking about the regulator having left the testing protocols also to the crop developer nothing not a thing has changed from 2017 to 2022 not a single additional test has been done gene complex that is used, they are toxic also, and there is scientific published evidence on this. And there is the issue of the genetic engineering process itself. When you insert alien, bacterial, and other genes uh, in uh, random ways into an existing genome, the very process causes unpredictable results. So there are health impacts from all of that. Mustard oil accounted for 14.1% of India's total edible oil consumption in 2020-21. India is the world's biggest importer of edible oils and last fiscal, it spent nearly $19 billion, a jump of 71% importing vegetable oils including palm and sunflower oils. GM mustard can help the country reduce import dependency in this area. India fills more than 70% of its edible oil demand from Argentina, Brazil, Indonesia, Malaysia, Russia and Ukraine. Many scientists and agricultural experts have called for faster clearance of GM crops as India's farming acreage shrinks because of rapid urbanization and erratic weather that threatens output of staple food grains such as rice and wheat.
but conservative politicians and advocacy groups have opposed transgenic technology in farming in the belief that GM crops would compromise food safety and biodiversity and pose a health hazard. The DMH-11 mustard variety is herbicide tolerant, allowing farmers to spray over the crops with weed killer without harming the crops. This has raised fears that farmers may resort to excessive use of toxic herbicides, which can lead to weeds becoming resistant to them and the emergence of so-called super weeds. Critics are also concerned about the herbicide residue on GM crops. The, all the concerns which are raised for fear of GM have been overblown. And actually it is the activist. It, this was also done in case of cotton. And uh, ultimately, when BT cotton was released, it was silenced. Within three to four years, it was all silenced. There is absolutely no fear of environmental contamination or anything which is safety and all that. Because since 1996, I think there is a GM canola has been already grown in Canada, USA, Australia. And we are also eating some of this oil, which is from GM, like soybean. We are also importing oil from GM canola. This overblown fear will all go once you start cultivating. Once your yield goes two to three times more, and we are already importing so much of oil and all that, the government is also concerned. We can improve the soybean yield from 1100 kg link to nearly double it, which is already there in uh, Argentina and Brazil and many countries. In all these 10 years, because of activists, the testing of this GM mustard, which has been done, is extensively done for pollination, for bees, for uh, safety issues. And, and I think the, nowhere in this world such a heavy testing for any other variety which is non-GM has been done. GM crops should be introduced in the country only after critical scientific evaluation of their benefits and safety. At present, there is a difference of opinion within the community of experts on their safety. Against this backdrop, bringing about a consensus and earning the trust of all the stakeholders involved will be crucial if the authorities are keen on the widespread adoption of GM crops. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.